and it's systemic with the bridges all over the city of Cleveland, there's a problem. Bridges in Cleveland left in the dark. Residents say they continue to report unsafe, broken, or burned out lighting all across the city with no results. Our Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis shows us what's being done to fix the issue, one that affects drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians on the road each and every day. Well, community activists say there are bridge lighting outages on both the east and west side of the city, like this bridge that you see here. Multiple fixtures burned out, and they say there is only one Cleveland public power crew out there working on the problem. If you report something six, eight months ago and it continues to still be issues and it's systemic with the bridges all over the city of Cleveland, there's a problem. Cleveland community activist Henry Senyak knows lighting. He's been reporting on issues here in Cleveland's Tremont neighborhood for more than a decade. West side, fixtures broken, dark, extinguished, under major bridges at Starkweather, Fairfield, Kenilworth. East side, this bridge over East 37th Street left dark and a potential hazard. The majority of all these wall pack lights are out. It's systemic and it, they have to have a repair solution and they have to have a replacement solution versus just one crew dedicated to do all this work for the city. Senyak says when bridge under lighting is out, it can cause some serious perception issues for nighttime drivers. When they're coming in and it's dark and then all of a sudden there's one bright light and then there's not, uh, it could confuse them where they'll look the other way and maybe cross the, the yellow line. It's critically important that those areas are lit. Cleveland Councilman Kerry McCormick says the outages are also a big problem for pedestrians and cyclists. Have you brought this to CPP's attention? Yes. And? They are working on it, uh, is, is the message back. So, um, you know, I guess we'll find out in the next couple of weeks if, if these get done. And Senyak says where there are broken lights, crime isn't too far behind. We've had a uh, robbery uh, at gunpoint and carjacking just last week on Brevere. And News 5 contacted Cleveland Public Power headquarters. It says it's looking at all the repair orders on the bridges we just showed you and hopes to have an answer for us within the next 24 hours. Reporting here in Cleveland, I'm 5 on your side investigator Joe Paganakis.